praise you. Father, we bless you tonight. We give you glory. We give you honor and we give you praise. We thank you for this time that you have called us into your house. We thank you that you have called us to come and celebrate with the woman of God on tonight. We thank you that this is her divine hour. This is her set time. That you've called us to the kingdom for such a time as this. I thank you, God, that you have gathered us in this house to hear a word. Not from me, but straight from heaven. And I pray tonight that you would anoint your word. Let it go forth under your conviction, under your power. But most of all, under your yoke and short and on it. God, I sit down tonight. And you speak, you be seen, and you be heard. Father, now bless the hand that I hold. Bless my sister. Bless my brother tonight. Don't let them leave this place to say, but Father, give my sister a testimony. Give my brother a testimony. God, do it for them tonight. And we'll promise to give you the glory. We'll promise to give you all the honor. And we'll promise to give you all the praise. And this is our prayer tonight. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. If you believe that, heard that prayer, put your hands together and give her praise. Bye. 
hide the attack. When you look at the scripture, the scripture begins to tell us about the nation of Judah. It tells us that this nation had been under a yoke of bondage. They had been uh, held under slavery for so many years. But every time, anytime you look at the scripture when God was getting ready to uh, move a nation or move on behalf of a people, he always sent a prophet with a prophetic declaration to the to them, I know you're going through, but just hold on because in a few days, in a few moments, in a few seconds, what you have been dealing with is getting ready to shift. Somebody say shift. Uh -huh. And so we are living in a season where God is literally getting ready to shift everything about our lives. I don't know about you, but this has been a season of going through anybody in the room going through anything right now. It seems like every that could go wrong is going wrong and she got the word that God said I'm going to bless you I'm going to wake you up I'm going to use him and seems like that word has gone in the opposite direction of what God has spoken but anytime God sends a prophet in your midst it is because there's an error of change that you're getting ready to experience God does not send a prophet just to simply sit in your midst and nothing happen but anytime God Yeah.